every weeknight I listen to a jazz pianist and I'll have the link on the, the screen and it's very restorative to me but one of the things that I was saying to her because uh, she was asking what I was doing and I said I'm listening to Elu and I'm I'm I can't dance so I'm painting and I had just started this one and she said it must be so hard for you and and I said because uh, I was in a state of unmedicated joy and bliss like and and I'm I asked what was wrong and and she said it must you know it must be so painful to have to draw dancing rather than to be able to dance and I realized she hadn't heard that this is how I'm dancing like it's the same energy it's the same joy it's the same uh there's a few things I've posted my my pen's even moving to the same rhythm as the piano uh this is dancing to me it wasn't like a, a pale second it wasn't a consolation prize I often I often talk about how blessed I am that I'm an artist because even today's staggering pain doesn't really dent my ability to create joy and if that's not a, a blessing I don't know what is but that she saw only loss in a moment when I was actually transcending all my worries and cares and falling in love with life to such a level that I forgive everything and I am at peace with it all and the weirdest thing I've never had one of the moments where I realize I can't get someone to understand when I'm in flow before and I thought it would be crushing. I was expecting the devastation to show up. But the funny thing was, there's so much love here. And I'm so blessed to, to be so joyous in my making of, of anything. And I just felt overwhelming sadness. Because there's nothing I can do to make her understand that even with the pain and the <sighs> admittedly trying isolation, I am not living a life that's second best or that's less glorious. If anything, I feel like the fact that I have had to create this on my own in my silent stillness has made it my personal heaven. And I only have it for a few hours a day. I, I eventually have to move or I get hungry and I have to figure out if I can actually stand long enough to microwave something. I'll have to attend to the real world life. That's, I think, how female spirituality differs in some ways because there are fewer chances for us to have our needs taken care of by others to the point we can forget that we're part of the world. Although I do do pretty well with that. Anyway, I am overwhelmed with compassion as I started to work on this. And I remember what she'd said, because even without Yulu being online, even in the silent stillness, this is still just a delight, no matter whether anyone else finds beauty in it. And that... That is a gift that I gave myself.